what would happen if you peed on an electric fence? When a man's got to go, a man's got to go. But what would happen if you peed on an electric fence? Now this should be a really easy question to answer. You find an electric fence and you pee on it. The trouble is finding someone brave enough or stupid enough to do it. So before I drop my pants and answer nature's call, I think a little bit of experimentation is in order. Now, we have attempted to recreate the famous Brussels monument, Mannequin P. It's not a scratch on the original, but it should serve our purposes nicely. Our chap here is currently just recycling water. So what we're going to do is add some salt to recreate as closely as possible the waste water our bodies produce. Urine is around 95% water. The remainder is mostly salt and urea, and it's these elements that carry the charge. Now, first thing to do is to switch on the electric fence. OK, that's on now. And then we're going to measure the voltage coming off this machine. If I... Whoa, you can see that. Now, from top to bottom on this screen, it's about 400 volts. And whenever I get one of these big peaks, which you see happen now, there's one, it's blowing it way off the screen. But that's no great surprise, because we know this is 6,000 volts. So what I'm going to do now is attach my probe to the beginning of the stream, like this. And what I'm looking for is to see if I get any sort of blip at all. Because even the smallest blip means I'm getting at least 100 volts. And 100 volts is the limit I've set myself. More than that, and there's just no way I'm going to do this. So here goes. Right, I'm going to move the fence into the stream now. Like that. Let's have a look. Let's see what we're getting. I'm sure I don't have to tell you that I'm very keen to see some activity on the oscilloscope. A shock of less than 100 volts would still be unpleasant, and I will be a much happier man when I see some big blips. We're not getting as much through. It's definitely reduced. Whoa, there was a big blip there. Oh, well, that was really big, but that was at least 150 volts. That's a sight for sore eyes. There was another one. Now, I'm getting blips there that are almost the full screen, so that means there's probably almost 400 volts at the beginning of the stream. And that is 300 volts more than the limit I set myself. That's a big relief. The charge is definitely travelling up the stream, and at the source, there could be even more than 400 volts. Right, that's all the evidence I need. Now, while I can't tell you exactly what would happen if you peed on an electric fence, what I can tell you from this experiment is that if you did, it would hurt like...